talking to you felt different. I felt like I was dealing with some kind of internal objective in your mind. I feel like the way that I process interactions and emotions is like, is a little bit off, off. Social events, very stressful because I'd be getting messages like, oh, everybody's waiting for you and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, holy shit, like, I don't want, I guess it's manifest in relationships as well, where I don't want to feel like a sole source of entertainment for a person. You don't want people to care for you? I don't know. I, I, it sounds so like, like it. Maybe it's because I think it stems from a place of not being genuine. I spend a great deal of time going through the ways that I relate to people. Is this a maladaptive behavior that I need to change? Or is this a behavior that is just like serving me so well in life that I shouldn't change it? It's hard to figure out what should change or shouldn't. It's hard to figure out what should change or shouldn't. So what's wrong with your grandmother worrying about you if you're out? Makes me feel weird, I guess. What feels weird about it? Well, it's irritating to me that now instead of just keeping track of myself, now I also have to keep track of somebody else's feelings about where I'm at. So now I'm like managing multiple people's stuff when I'm trying to, yeah, I guess like live my life. If you've got a problem or you've got an issue or something that's really bothering you, I can help you with literally anything. But if your issue is with me, I, it, I have a really hard time dealing with that. Sacrifice anything that I want to do tonight because it assuages your worry being dictated to me by somebody else's irrational feelings. I spent so much time in my life kind of trying to pull those back. This is not normal, so I'm just trying to like peg that. I understand that I think about these things in this way, but it's very abnormal and I have to be aware of that because if I start projecting that onto other people, people are gonna have really bad impressions of me. I can't, when when did thing. you yeah, learn yeah, to fear people's unhappiness? It probably came through my first two relationships. I would become more and more disconnected. The other person would try to evoke a reaction out of me and then eventually that would escalate into them attacking me until I would respond. I'm like a 6,000 degree, I'm like a very cold, sterile, dry, witty, sarcastic, biting, maybe like a porcupine or a hedgehog. What's wrong with letting the other person down? Feels like I fostered uh, some kind of expectation in the other person that they can have that expectation of me and I'm failing to live up with that. And you don't want other people depending on you. You don't want to owe people things. You want to be independent. Yes. You don't want to be connected. Yeah. Yeah. So one thing that I would encourage you to do is start complimenting people for what you value. The issue is with me. I have a really hard time dealing with that. So once you start giving without expectation, you can receive without expectation. I have a really hard time dealing with that. We think compassion is about making the world a better place. It's not just about making the world a better place. It's about making you a better person. Mm -hmm. I have a really hard time dealing with that. To practice compassion and forgiveness changes the way that you receive what the world gives you. I have a really hard time dealing with that. Try to change a little bit about what you put out into the world, and it'll change the way that you receive what the world will give you. I have a really hard time dealing with that. So as you become centered in yourself, you disentangle the self from the outside world. Then you can perceive the outside world for what it is, and you will know instantly whether someone is bullshitting you or not. You will be able to see people. You will become the best lie detector. I have a really hard time dealing with that. Think about what, what lets people get away with lies. The best liar is someone who lines up their lies with the vulnerability of the other person. Yeah, I have a really hard time dealing with that. So as you become centered, then it will become very clear. You can operate without burden. You can act spontaneously. You can perceive what's going on and perceive it as it is. I have a really hard time dealing with that. There must be separation between you and the other person. The other person has their own feelings. If they want to worry, let them worry. What is it to you? If you care about them, by all means, intervene in some way. But your feelings should not be tangled up in these. I should take a more honest approach in how I communicate with other people and let them feel what they feel without making my feelings reliant on their feelings. Notice the communication between your feelings and someone else's feelings. Because all of the things that you struggle with are tangled up. Oh, they'll feel offended if I don't go kayaking. I feel I don't want to do this, but I don't want to disappoint them. So your internal environment is tied to their response. This will never, it'll never work. So just notice the independence of you from the outside world. When you become more and more independent, in turn, what will finally happen in the final stage is you will actually be joined with the other people. Okay. Be joined with the other people. Okay. You don't want to be connected. Yeah. Be joined with the other people. You don't want to be connected. Yeah. Well, it's irritating to me that now instead of just keeping track of myself, now I also have to keep track of somebody else's feelings about where I'm at.